Hi friends, it is Saturday morning and I have my hair done, I have my makeup done, I am dressed in a normal outfit and I am leaving the kids home to do their chores by themselves. <laughs> because I chipped a nail this morning and I was gonna hold off on getting my nails done until like Monday or Tuesday next week before we head out to my sister's wedding because I just wanted my nails to be more fresh. Say goodbye, chores Hello. done. I want your chores done when I get home. Where are you going? To get my nails done. Okay, um, so I'm kind of leaving my kids, they all know how to do their chores, chores, but I'm leaving them to their own devices to actually get it done. I forgot my wedding ring. So, um, I just realized after I chipped this nail, I don't even think you're gonna be able to see it. Anyway, I chipped a nail and that's going to bug me and I'm gonna pick at it and ruin the nail itself. You're gonna go do your chores? You'll have to unload as soon as Abby unloads, okay? No, she needs to come and do it right now. So. I just said, you know what? I'm gonna see if they have an appointment today. If they do, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna use Jason's gift certificate. I was like, I wanted to go to the place where I got these ones done at, but I was like, oh, I need to like, anyway. But I realized I have free money, <laughs> a free gift certificate. So then I'm gonna get my toes done as well. So I'm gonna run and do that. I'm in a hurry, I've gotta get down there. Um, and then Abby wants to go to Marshall's. He'll come home and get her and go to Marshall's because we looked up the temperature of um, Idaho where we're going to be for my sister's wedding. It's going to be 93 degrees. It is 53 here, okay? 40 degree temperature change. <laughs> She's like, I need flowy shorts to wear to this wedding, like dress shorts. I am not wearing my dress pants. I will die of heat. And she's correct. I might even try and find, Chelsea has some. She has her little romper and Ashley has plenty of dresses and things that she could wear. But Abby's like, I will die in that kind of heat. And we all are. I was going to do my hair down and straight like this for the wedding. And I'm going to try and practice some styles to pull this top part up and braid it and pull it back. Because I can't stand heat having stuff right here around my face. Let's go to the And I pull up and someone is pulling out right in front of the place I need to go. Sweet. I didn't think I was going to have a parking spot. And I'm one minute late. So I got to get in there. Crap, it's 15 minute parking. Dang it. I have to go find something else. It is so nice out here. Look at this sun. Oh, it feels so good. It's not too hot, but the sun feels good. So I kind of did a little bit of a mature hot pink. Um, and then I kind of got the same color on my toes, but I did dip again. The nails are so much stronger when you do dip, you guys. When you take off the dip, especially, they're not brittle and thin and weak. So I really strongly advise on dip versus acrylic or gel. I don't know how I'm gonna get into my car. So this is the same one here. Hang on. So felt really good to get them done. I like getting my nails with the dip done at the same time I'm doing the pedicure because they put the foil wraps on while you're getting the pedicure so you're not sitting there doing nothing. But I will say it's kind of frustrating because you can't use your phone <laughs> you have foil on your fingers. So I couldn't peruse my phone. It's the only downside. And then when you're getting the dip done, you can't touch your phone either but anyway. So the whole time I'm kind of without my phone. So I actually should check and see if my kids have <laughs> burned the house down and see if they're okay. But then I think I'm gonna go home, get Abby, and go do some shopping for a bit. And Jason reminded me last night that I had not done the oil change in the car. Oh, and he says, I am dragging. Hope you're doing better. We had a mild little meltdown with Ashley last night until about midnight. She seems to like to melt down really late at night when she's tired and hungry. So anyway, we are a little tired. He's more tired than I am because I slept until 10. <laughs> so I do feel bad he's tired. Maybe I can convince him to come home early because we do need to go um, out to dinner tonight. I'm gonna turn on the AC. It's hot in here. It's actually hot in my car. That's kind of fine. Maybe it was fate when you walked in the door. I could have sworn I've seen your face before. So glad that you said hi, cause I was way too shy. Okay, I actually found two shirts for myself and I'm in a smaller size. Haven't been in that size for a long time. And it's on clearance. Where's the tag for clearance? 10 bucks. And then I got this orange one, again, smaller size. And it's 16, but I'm saving money on this one. <laughs> I didn't show you in the mirror, but they're really cute. Yeah. I might actually wear this one tonight. It's really cute. I'm 
and they only have one kind of notebook in the ones I like. And it's all the same pattern. So, I don't like that pattern as much. I'm just loving the sun. So I'm gonna film in the sun as much as I can today. <laughs> so we did a little damage in there, right Ash? Yeah. <laughs> She's got a little load. I got a cute little um, cooler bag to use at the beach. It's just a little bit smaller than the ones I've got because I have a feeling I'm gonna wanna go down there by myself when the kids don't wanna go, <laughs> hang out with my girlfriends. And at night when I go with just Jason, open. Ah, uh, sorry, hang on. There we go. And then I'll show you what else we got. All right, let me show you what else we got here. Abby got a longer cord for the car. I think it'll be fine, it'll go back to here. It'll go back, you're in the middle seat. It's for the car, for mm -hmm. when we travel this summer. And then I got this cute candle. It smells just like Hawaii, or at least gives me the Hawaii vibes. And then you got some makeup, oh, I got a phone, or not a phone, an AirPod case. And then Abby was able to get a skirt slash shorts. Right, they're shorts. They're just shorts. So they're shorts on the bottom, but really cute and flowy. And then what else we got, Ash? I got that, I already showed them that. What else we have? Makeup wipes. Oh, and the two shirts. I already showed you the two shirts. Is that it? Is that all we got? Mm -hmm. So I think we did pretty good. We did not find Ashley something, but I don't think she really needs something. But you wanted something? I wanted shorts. You wanted shorts like Abby, but we didn't find any. Because. We don't really do that. Maybe maybe we can get something on Amazon, but let's look through your closet first. Oh, um, I, trust me, we have time for Amazon, but let's look through your closet first, okay? Okay. Uh, we'll have a little bit of time to kind of relax, and then we can go. Okay. We just have to meet them at like 6.30. Okay. All right. Drive safe. All right. Okay. Love you. Love you. Let the road rage go. Okay, bye. He had someone cut him off and he kind of went around and got out of the way of that guy and then another guy I don't know just started like actually got out of his car and started coming at Jason So he had to call 911 and then the guy suddenly got in his car and drove away and Jason's battery died Sorry forgot that the battery was dead. Anyway, so I was like calm down. It's sunny. It's beautiful We are about to go and have dinner out on Alki Beach and for those that don't know that area most of you probably don't it is in West Seattle, which you have to kind of cross over the water, a uh, huge sound area-ish, Washington Lake area, cross over and you have a beautiful view of the skyline and there is like no cloud in the sky. Let's go out and check. It is going to be the most beautiful um, skyline view. Hopefully we have a view. I don't know what restaurant we're going to. I have never been there, but it's going to be beautiful. Look at this. That's blue skies, you guys. It's absolutely beautiful. So it's gonna be a very pretty night. So I just need Jason to decompress and come home. And also I've already pulled my hair up in a ponytail. <laughs> I don't wanna chop my hair off. I like it being long, but I get so hot when it's down. <laughs> I will I will take it down and kind of restyle it a little bit. Uh, maybe in like a half up or something. But I've just been in here editing and thinking of my talk. I'm just trying to come up with a few more concepts. I just saw on the little schedule for tomorrow that I am the last speaker, which is good because then you kind of get shortened amount of time. Like you're like, oh, there's only 10 minutes left. <laughs> so, And I know the speaker before, I think she'll be good, but I think it's her first time speaking in a while. So I really hope she doesn't get done in five minutes and then I have like 30 minutes to fill. <laughs> that will not happen. I don't have 30 minutes of a talk. So I'm just gonna keep working here at my computer until he gets home and then we will hop in the car and I will show you West, ah, oh, bit my tongue. <sighs> and then I will show you West Seattle and Alki Beach and I think we're going to a Hawaiian, <sighs> my friend told me last night, it's not Hawaiian barbecue, Hawaii, Hawaiian Korean, I don't know what it is, but it sounds fantastic. So it's, it's gonna be really good. Ashley's gonna be my little cameraman. I got this shirt today. I love the sleeves. She had to button up one side of it. But I absolutely love these sleeves. They're a little bit long for me. I like them to be shorter when it's summertime. But it is really cute. And then I've just kind of tucked it in in the front. <laughs> kind of new, like that new style. And I'm a little bit longer in the back. I don't know, it's kind of fun. And then I changed my eyeshadow out of a little bit of an orange hue to go with the shirt. So it's kind of fun. And I have to show you where Ashley is sitting right now because she's very funny. <laughs> I always find her in the weirdest places. Like under a table. Yeah. Under my bed or on top of the table. Yeah. She's always. Yeah. You were in a teeny tiny ball on your bed this morning. 
Very cute. All right, Abby will be in charge of you tonight. Kaylee has gone to play baseball with Jacob and Veronica and a few other friends. So, Chelsea's still over at her friends? Yeah, they're playing wall ball. Wall ball? Like a, a video game or oh, an actual game? An actual game. Oh, they're actually being physical? Are they outside? Yeah. Oh, okay. Dad was like, where's Ashley? And I'm like, she's in weird places. <laughs> she climbs up. Okay, you ready to go? Yeah. You're like backlit. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Guys, the sunshine is so abnormal. It's so wonderful though. It's gonna make for a very fun night. Um, our friend is um, driving all of us. So we're gonna go and hop in their car. We're kind of meeting at a central location. Um, I think we're meeting at the grocery store. <laughs> Yeah, why would uh, pick I don't. I don't know. Well, it's just kind of central. I think they think the parking lot's safer too than Tibbetts. I think that was the, the thing, yeah. the, to leave our car there. Anyway, um, but we're going to all go over together just because it's a longer drive and more fun to kind of all be in the same car. The sunshine, you guys. I don't even think the temperature got over 70 today, so I don't even think we can add. Uh, yeah, maybe it did? Yeah, I mean, my car said 73. It's usually oh, maybe it did. So maybe we can add to the five hours of warm over 70 to our tally. Um, but I will get fun little shots of going over to Alki and just the rest of our night. It should be pretty fun. And I'm excited to have the sun out and to go and sit by the water. It should be pretty fun. Okay, so I'm kind, of, Napster, Napster. I'm kind of laughing right now because I was looking at Facebook and my cute niece it has been dating someone and she just did a little, oh, we've been dating for six months and look at him, he's so cute and he is and they're very cute. But I was like, imagine having Facebook back when we were dating, given we were dating for four years <laughs> before he popped the question. But I was like, I just asked him, I was like, imagine if I had posted, oh, well, look at us, we've been dating for six whole months. And what was your reply? That look, that look was the reply. I was just like, what? Right, <laughs> no, whatever. that would have ended our relationship 100% <laughs> for me to broadcast it publicly. It, we had a hidden relationship for about two years. It wasn't hidden. You did not like any public display that you were with me. I am not an openly affectionate individual until no. like later. Yeah. It was hard for me because it was the first time I had had a, a boyfriend and I wanted to like proclaim it. Yes, you did. <laughs> the look on his face no, right now. No, it was fine. It's just I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't like, it's not really me. But, yeah. But then I, when we got married and we were engaged and everything, then I was more lovey-dovey. No, were all, I was while we were engaged. Oh, first, well, first yeah, married. And then, and then you're just funny because... Then you like, okay, I'm married, I don't need to do this anymore. <laughs> I did all the work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm done, I'm married, so. Right. No, right now it's more of a self-conscious issue. Oh. It's my it's my issue, not yours. Of myself, so. Okay. Not what I looked like back when we were dating. Well, I don't look like we look like we were dating either. You don't age much at all, except for the gray hair on your face. I know, you're the one that makes me keep it. I like it. It, it makes you look, what is the word? Distinguished. distinguished. Yeah, that's what all women say. Like, oh, you look good, you look distinguished. Is Why isn't that a compliment? I don't know, it's like, I guess. I think it's a compliment. Now that I'm looking back, I can see all the signs I tried to fill in the cracks that were spread in my mind, but I was all out of hope, lost in an It's freezing cold. <laughs> yeah, the wind is chilly. Um, but we're gonna have a really pretty sunset. I think you're gonna drive around um, around the bend over here, over 
So this side over here is West Seattle. Seattle. So the Space Needle is right there. It's been fun to uh, have our friend driving and we just kind of went through Seattle and it's just kind of he's kind of playing tour guide we're just having fun it's kind of fun to just do something different now we're at Dick's Burgers where's the iconic sign right there and we're gonna get some milkshakes and continue our little drive back home and maybe we'll go play some games fun. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> you want your old man do you need some night cream and some, I work all freaking day some cows dresses. <laughs> going to sign off with you guys it was kind of fun to play tourist tonight um, and just kind of drive around and we just took our time we just drove slow we'd pull over and look at the sunset and look at the skyline in Seattle and then we came back over and got bur uh, shakes over at Dick's Dick's burrs is kind of iconic and um, it's usually where they our friends Shane and Carrie go when they go over to Seattle so he's like so we're going to get shakes right <laughs> I'm like yeah, it's okay. kind of what you do. But we're going to sign off with you guys tonight. It was a fun night. Um, and now that we have no school and stuff with the kids, we can, we've all kind of agreed, hey, when we get together, let's go and do stuff. Let's like get out there and have fun. And while we have good weather like this, let's go find some fun restaurants and sit outside. And, you know, during the winter, it's okay to like just sit inside and play games and stuff because it's so miserable outside. But, and beach days, beach nights, adult beach night that's gonna start up after we kind of all start to go on vacations. Um, you know, then it'll be kind of fun. So, we'll see you guys next time. Of all the magic places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is, oh you know it's true, no matter where I go, I'm coming home to you.